Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm heading out right now. I just got dressed. I am running to Whole Foods. We just got back from Wyndham, New York. We spent the weekend in upstate New York with a bunch of our friends and it was so much fun. And we're home now. Emma's at laser. I'm gonna go head to the grocery store because we have no food and we're getting a storm tonight, which I literally didn't even know about until like an hour ago. This little cute lady who lives next door to me, um, I saw her outside when I was walking Milo and she was like telling me about the storm and I had no idea. So I was like, wait, I probably should go grocery shopping and get stuff because we literally don't have anything and who knows how long it's gonna last. She said it could be like up to 15 hours of just like rain and wind. So gotta go to the store and get some things. Um, but I just thought that I would vlog since I'm going to be in the house for the next couple of days. Probably like cooking. I did a bunch of work this morning um, and just like hanging out. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a little home vlog. And yeah, I'm doing my bed sheets today since I was away for the weekend. And I'm going to clean my room. It's a mess. I've decided what I want to do with my bedroom. I think I'm going to do a desk in this area right here which i can put like my desktop computer and get like a really cute chair and maybe put like some art over it just because i have no idea what to do with this space and i feel like things just like pile up and it looks a mess and it really bothers me also i really need to paint my walls which is another thing that i have to do because that also bothers me um but that's what i think i'm gonna do with my room so i can have like a quiet little workspace usually i don't like to work in my bedroom but since i live with emma i feel like my room can be like my little area like i have a roommate so i don't have like a room to make the office in and i just feel like all my work stuff ends up piling up on the kitchen table which i don't want so anyway i'm gonna get a little desk for my room um, this is my outfit today. I'm wearing a long sleeve from Cotton Citizen, aloe hat. My pants are staple and hue, and my shoes are these New Balances that I got off Goat, and then I'm using my Buy Far bag. I just picked up a smoothie from this place in Boston. It's in the most random location. It's inside Everybody Fights in Fort Point, but it's called Squeeze juice bar i'm pretty sure um and i made my own smoothie it's so good this is the recipe that my mom used to make when i was little and it just like tastes amazing i got almond milk banana blueberry strawberry spinach flax and it's so good so you have to try it i'm gonna put you guys on it and it's so good you guys have to try it if you go somewhere and you can like make your own smoothie or make it at home it's like the best i don't know why i'm procrastinating so much today because i need to go to the grocery store and for some reason i like don't want to <laughs> like i'm doing everything that i possibly can right now to just like not go and i'm also getting back into listening to podcasts because I feel like for a while I like got away from it and like I love listening to music but it stresses me out sometimes unless it's like country music so I'm listening to The Skinny Confidential with Ed Milet the first episode there's three of them I highly recommend like those are my favorite podcast episodes The Skinny Confidential ones with Ed Milet and I always get so many questions about like which podcasts I like and I listen to and I listen to Ed Milet and The Skinny Confidential. Those are like my two favorite podcasts. I've been listening to them for years and they've helped me so much. So if you're looking for a recommendation, those are my two go-to podcasts. And yeah. Okay, let's go. I <laughs> am trying to plan... Excuse you. I'm trying to plan something to do for my birthday because my birthday's next month and I don't really know like I have no idea what I want to do and I don't want to like throw a big party 
or do anything like that because I feel like I've, I already had a big party a couple of years ago and I don't even know if that's like my vibe anymore. <laughs> like going somewhere and like having a huge party. I kind of want to just like chill, maybe do like a weekend away somewhere because my birthday's on a Sunday. But I'm having like a hard time trying to figure out like what to do. If you have any recommendations, like I want to do something chill and like I want to be more low key. If you have like recommendations on places that you think I should travel to for the weekend, leave them down below because I would really appreciate that. I'm looking for like a new city to go to, like somewhere I've never been to before and like try something different. I feel like that'd be really fun and just to like go out to dinner and like be chill and like explore a new city. Um, maybe do like a workout class. I don't know, I feel like you guys know my vibe, so. <laughs> I just got done making dinner. I forgot to vlog for you guys, but Emma and I made curry since it's like downpouring and a huge storm. We were like, let's make something warm and yummy and we were craving Thai yesterday. So we did some white rice and then the curry was so easy to make. All I did was filled my big like Dutch oven, which I was telling Emma was my best purchase of 2021. I filled it with some oh coconut oil and then I sauteed an onion, garlic. I'm just gonna put it in the description so you guys aren't like staring at this and I'm gonna go eat. Love ya, bye. Good morning, <laughs> just made breakfast. Um, we're having scrambled eggs, toast, avocado, turkey bacon, and Arlen brought over oh, our favorite orange juice, Uncle Matt's, you guys already know the deal. Say hi to the vlog, Milo. Uncle Say hi Marlon. to the vlog. It's Uncle. And it's Saturday, October 30th, <laughs> the day before Halloween. What are you gonna be? Oh, and Milo got a haircut, you guys. Oh, he's, he's such Look a at him. I dyed my hair. Oh, and Liv dyed her hair. She looks so good, she's a brunette now. Is Milo a teenager yet? He's seven. He's not seven? Yeah, he's a year old. Oh. <laughs> In dog years, he's seven. Like, what are you talking so about? he's a seven year old. No, he's just one. <laughs> he's just one year old, <laughs> Arlen and I are recording for, should I tell them? Yeah, sure. Do you want to explain it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll I feel like... explain it. Um, guys so this is Arlen I'm Arlen for those of you who are new here I feel like I haven't really introduced myself you probably have a lot of new followers yeah um, yeah since yeah but um, yeah Maggie and I've been pretty tight friends since we were like 14 15 yeah. um, and have obviously I do YouTube as well but more recently I've been focused on a project called a maxi which is a tool that helps you to basically make yourself happier and more productive and if you guys watch maggie she's probably one of the happiest most productive people that you know um and the way that the tool works is it takes people like maggie and it basically allows you to like download their mindset into yours and that sounds kind of wild but we're gonna make a whole video about it so if you guys are curious you'll be able to watch it and learn more and that's it. Yeah. So I'm excited. Arlen has some questions. He's going to ask me and I'm going to answer them. And we're just going to get into it. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a few days since I vlogged because I got like a little cold. Hey. Hey. Milo. Enough of that. Guys, he scratches at this door in my apartment and I don't know why. Well, actually I do, his cookies are in it, but I think he thinks that like there's food. I'm not rewarding you for doing that, Milo. No, stop scratching at the door, love. 
Anyway, good morning. I have such a busy day today and I'm continuing the vlog. I like vlogged a few times last week. Today's Wednesday, November 3rd. But I started off this vlog last week and then I ended up getting sick over the weekend and I just had like a cold so I was like resting and making sure that I felt better. I have a flight tomorrow. I leave for Phoenix. I'm going to a wedding with my friend Jess and I'm so excited. I've never been to Arizona before so I am excited to go. It's going to be so pretty and obviously like I'm going to try to vlog. I'm going to do a vlog from Arizona and vlog like as much as I can. Um, I'm not probably going to vlog a lot like at the wedding just because I don't know but I'm going to vlog in Arizona. Uh, but today I have like a huge getting ready packing prep day so we're continuing the vlog with that i need to get my nails done they are so bad like i can't even believe that they look like this i had the gel extensions on my nails for the longest time and i swear they just like ruined my nails and made them super thin so i got them taken off because i shut my thumb in my car door and I don't want to have like the extension on this nail so I was like okay I'm just gonna take them all off and like give my nails a break for a while and my nails have been breaking like breaking super low and it hurts like this one's so broken but anyway I gotta get my nails done gotta do something about them gotta do eyebrows today we just have like a lot that we're gonna do and then packing um so yeah that is what is up? I need to make a coffee. I haven't had coffee in a few days because I've been sick. made an americano this morning i've been obsessed with americanos i go through phases like i used to be really into making lattes in the morning but i've been loving the americanos and my machine that i have this breville espresso machine you can like make any of these drinks you can do like espresso americano latte flat white cappuccino it's literally like you're getting coffee from a coffee shop and this machine is definitely an investment i have it on my gift guide which is linked in the description of this video my 2021 holiday gift guide um but yeah it's definitely an investment but if you drink coffee every day like me i feel like it's so worth it like i don't go out and make coffee anymore because it's just like that good when i make it at home and i got these cute little mugs also the other day like how adorable are these i got them from nordstrom and they're little purple um, flowers. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. But yeah, this coffee maker, I've had it for a few months now. And I love it so much. Like I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The coffee just tastes so good. Have you calmed down a little bit now? <laughs> I'm going to get ready to start the day. I just wanted to show you guys my rug. It has been shedding. I've, I got so many messages about the braided rug I had underneath my bed and how it sheds everywhere. And so many of you guys that have it said that like the shedding never stops. And you were asking me like, Maggie, what do you do to get rid of the shedding? And I walk in my room and look what I see on the ground. A little fluff left over from my rug. I had to get rid of it because my whole apartment was just literally covered with the fur from the rug and I'm really sad because I loved the look of it but I hated how much it shed but honestly I really like the way that my room looks now without it I feel like it makes my bedroom look a lot bigger and uh, I don't know I'm kind of into it also I still need to paint the walls but I don't know if I should hire someone or if I should just take like a few days and do it myself I've never painted before um, but 
they're still yellow over here I'm starting the packing process right now because my flight is so early tomorrow morning that I don't want to be like up super late I want to be able to like not be stressed out and just be able to go to bed wake up for the flight and everything will be all set tonight so I'm starting pretty early it's like 11 right now I just got back from the nail salon I got gel and I got this like blue color and I'm really into it this nail though right here as you guys can see this is the one that broke it's like so much shorter than all my other nails but they're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be they were just super grown out my red polish that I had on and I got my toes done um, but I have started packing I'm going to the wedding I'm going to be in Phoenix from Thursday to Sunday and then Sunday to Wednesday I'm going to be in California. So I have like two trips kind of that I'm packing for and the wedding is earth toned so I'm going to bring two dresses. I have this one right here from Cult Gaia and I have this one from Rat and Boa. I don't know which one I'm gonna wear yet. I'm gonna try them on and then probably bring both just so I have two options. And the rehearsal dinner is an all white theme. So I'm wearing this strapless dress from with Jean. And I'm excited, I'm obsessed with this dress. And I also have this dress right here, which I'm gonna bring just in case. It's from the line by Kay. And it's just a high neck like a really comfy dress so we have my three earth tone dresses the white and then i'm packing outfits for laguna i don't know what i'm gonna wear during the day in phoenix yet but i have one of my first outfits on like something that i want to wear in california um top is from reformation little cute crochet top and then my cargo pants are from local european i took a little bit of a packing break uh, my dad just came up. He picked up Milo and also my dad is like looking at apartments to buy in Boston right now. Um, he just wants to own an apartment as well as our house on the Cape and just like rent it out. So I like went with him to look at an apartment. He's like, Max, I really want you to come look at it with me. Like I want your opinion. So I did that with him, which was really nice. And then him and I got lunch and it was super fun like he looked at this apartment in the north end and it was so cute and it's in like the perfect location right near all of our favorite restaurants so it'd be really fun if he got the apartment um but yeah anyway uh i'm packing right now just got off the phone with jess which is really good because i we got to talk about like the trip and stuff i feel like her and i have just been so busy we haven't like facetimed or talked about what we were doing when we're in arizona so now I know that the all white brunch that we're going to is, it's a brunch, the all white um, rehearsal. Not a rehearsal dinner, it's a rehearsal brunch. So I am excited about that because originally I wanted to wear boots with my, with jean dress. So I'm gonna try on a few different boots and I'll let you guys, we, we can decide. Also, my hair's a mess. I need to shower and like do the whole thing, like shower, shave, um, I was gonna get a spray tan, but I just got like super overwhelmed Because I just don't want to feel sticky and I'm getting dinner with Graydon tonight So I just like didn't want to feel gross and be like so dark So I'm gonna use my self tanner and then like gradually keep putting it on the next few days. So That's what's up with that. Um But yeah, I'm gonna start pack packing Milo's not here anymore. So it's like so much easier for me to get stuff done because I feel like when he's here he just is either sleeping outside or just gets like super lonely and like scratches at my door and like take his my takes my shoes takes my clothes and, like runs around the apartment with them so it's nice that he's in good hands now going to the cape and is going to spend some time with my dad and my other dogs um so yeah <laughs> we're gonna get to packing I have a lot to do because I also need to do some work, so. Okay, outfit for the brunch. I put on the YSL sunglasses with the with jean dress and then white Bottega heels. I really love the sunglasses with the dress. I'm just trying to decide if I wanna do black bag or white bag. Okay, this is wedding outfit. I just tried it on 
literally this dress is so stunning it's by the line by k sorry that it's so backlit in my room um i need to actually find a better place for this mirror but i'm obsessed with the dress i'm wearing these little shoes from bellini from princess polly and then this is what the back looks like i love it and i'm thinking i was gonna do my cream Bottega pouch, but I'm kind of liking the by far bag a little bit better, just like more chill shoulder bag. And I'm obsessed. Little nighttime outfit for tomorrow. Jess and I are gonna go to dinner with my friend B for her birthday. And uh, this is a little set from Danielle Guzio. Little top, it's a turtleneck sweater top and then matching little skirt. And then these boots are so cute, they're from Revolve. I'm pretty sure that they still have them. So I'll link them for you guys and then also just black by far bag. I have not vlogged because I've been so busy packing. I'm taking a little break right now to go grab some dinner with Graydon. Um, just threw on something random. I have on a shirt from Staple and Hue, just a little crop long sleeve. I threw on this flannel over it some jeans air forces cute little shirling bag from evolve and yeah <laughs> i'm like so embarrassed about how messy my room is in the back but whatever also you guys it feels so weird that milo's not here and it's making me so sad i like miss him so much already and i haven't even left for my trip 